Christmas came early this year in the form of plugin actions, which essentially function as flexible keyboard shortcuts that work even when the plugin isn't activated. I'll be walking you through the complete process of setting up and testing them. Let's jump right in. Now, I already have a place open in Roblox Studio, just a couple bricks and not much else. I've been working on my own plugin. You can see on my keyboard if I hit Ctrl and A, even though I don't have the plugin selected, it still detects the keyboard shortcut. And you don't just have to use them for enabling plugins, you can also use them for things like this down here. This timer doesn't actually have a toolbar button up here. This is all you've got, and you can click this button to expand it. There's no real reason to have it, but if I wanted, I could assign a keyboard shortcut on here, provided I updated the code in this, of course, to support that, and I would be able to expand and contract this just with the keyboard shortcut. So that's essentially what we'll be doing today. It's fairly simple, and you should get the hang of it fairly quickly. I will say before we get started that you do need to have some basic knowledge of Roblox Studio and programming itself, because I won't be explaining tiny things like variables and functions. Let's start by inserting a local script. Truth is, pretty much any kind of script will work, but I like to use local scripts because old habits die hard, and those are what I used in the beginning. So now, the first thing we need to do is create our plugin action. I have the plugin action wiki page open over here, but this only tells us what to do with the action, not how to create it. You need create it plugin action in order to actually create the keyboard shortcut. So we'll go into here and create a new plugin action. We'll just call it plugin action. We'll first reference the plugin object, then add create plugin action. Now, when there's a lot of variables, I like to space it out like this for easier reading, but it's not necessary. So we have three spaces to fill in, as you can see right here. We've got the action ID, the text, and the status tip. The first one, action ID, is like a variable name. You want it to be different from every other action ID out there, or else they'll clash and potentially break. Whoever is using the plugin won't actually ever see this, so you don't have to worry about making it pretty. I prefer to just name it like I would a normal variable, so I'm going to name this plugin action test. The second parameter is text. Now this is pretty much the name of the keyboard shortcut, so this is actually where you choose what the user sees. So I'll write print to output since that's all we'll be doing today. Finally, there's the third one, status tip, which is very simple. It's just the description of the action. I'm going to say print a thing to output, I guess. Now that we've got that done, we can write a function for when it gets triggered. So you can just write a typical function. Now currently the event doesn't actually return anything, so I don't need to put anything in these brackets. So as you can see here, this event is called triggered. So all we need to do to use it is go plug in action dot triggered, connect to the triggered function. And that's all it takes. So now we've got a working script. We can right click and click on publish this plugin, create new, and get that published. Then we go into manage plugins, find plugins, my creations, plugins, Go to the plugin you've created and install it. One thing to note is that at the moment I haven't been able to get the plugin actions to work without closing Studio and then reopening it. Even though the plugins auto update when you install a new one or update one, the plugin actions don't really update along with it for some reason. This might be fixed in a future update and I hope it does get fixed, but for now, if it doesn't work, try closing and reopening Studio. Yeah, publish, why not? So now we're back in and we can test it out. But wait, we never assigned a keyboard shortcut. Well, that's because the user has to do that. So go to Advanced, Customize Shortcuts, and then search for the action name here. So Print to Output is right here, and we can double-click on the shortcut to change it. So what button do we want to hit to print to output? Just to make sure that it doesn't clash with any of the existing commands, I'm going to do Control alt shift a I'm 99% sure that's not in use. A good thing to do is to always search for the keyboard shortcut before you override it. There's no point for me to search it now, since I've already overwritten anything that might have been there, but that's generally a good practice to keep in mind. So now that I've assigned the shortcut, I can go Control shift alt a and if I go to Output, oof, there it is. Now, if you've gotten this working, you've successfully used plugin actions. Congrats, you can leave the video now, but if you want to stick around, I can talk a bit longer, I suppose. Now, you can do more with the plugin action object than just the triggered event. For example, if we go back to the wiki, you can do a lot with these three properties here, like read values you've already set. Okay, so these may not be useful to me, but maybe you see a use case for these that I don't, and in that case, good on you. One property I would love to see is a read-only property that tells you what the user has chosen as their shortcut for action. This would be useful for doing things like adding tooltips on the interface that remind them, hey, remember that you assigned that keyboard shortcut? Why not use that instead? Another thing that would be awesome is in addition to the create plugin action function, which is just a suggested keyboard shortcut so that if the shortcut isn't already taken, just set it as a shortcut for that action. That way the player doesn't have to search through three layers of menus and find an action that they might not even know the name of in order to enable its use. But overall, this is a fantastic addition to Roblox, and I am glad to see such great updates coming out. 
That's all. See ya.